You have just arrived home after your healthcare professional has applied your Dexcom G6 Pro, and you may be wondering what to do next. Let's go over that now. First, you will need to download and set up the Dexcom G6 app. You will need the information on your unblinded handout during app setup. Log into the app. If you are new to Dexcom, create a Dexcom account. If you have been on Dexcom G5 Mobile or Dexcom G6 before, log into your existing account. The app walks you through the setup process step by step. The first few screens provide information and a video. Read the information screens and watch the video to learn how to use your Dexcom for treatment decisions and how to use your system safely. The next few screens introduce your alarm and alerts. You will come to a screen where you need to set your low alert. Enter the low alert your healthcare professional provided on your handout. Tap save and set your low alert. Now, enter your high alert provided on your handout and tap save. The next few screens walk through connecting your transmitter to your smart device. Your transmitter and smart device connect using Bluetooth. The app automatically checks to see if your Bluetooth is on. Next, you need to enter the transmitter serial number. The serial number is located on your handout. Enter this number into the app. Wait for your transmitter to connect. Keep your smart device within 20 feet of you while connecting. Now your sensor warm-up has begun. You will need to check your meter to make treatment decisions during this time. Keep your phone close to you, within 20 feet, while it is warming up. After your two-hour warm-up, you get your first sensor glucose reading. See the number in the gray circle? That's an example of a sensor glucose and target range. Notice the dots? Each dot represents a reading taken every five minutes over the last three hours. Your oldest readings are on the left, your most recent on the right. And the lines? Well, they show where your target range is set. When you go below your low alert setting, the app alerts you and the circle turns red. When you go above your high alert setting, the app alerts you and the circle turns yellow. The urgent low glucose alarm is set at 55 and cannot be changed or turned off. This alarm will repeat every five minutes until you clear the alarm. Your glucose is always changing. That is why the trend arrow is important. It shows where your glucose is heading and how fast it's moving. For example, the arrow shows if your glucose is rapidly rising, rising, slowly rising or steady, or if you're slowly falling, falling or rapidly falling. Arrows help you avoid being low or high by taking action before you are already too low or too high. For example, if you are going to bed with a 120 going down, you should consider taking action before you get too low. Use your number and arrow when making a treatment decision, like treating for a low or dosing for a high. Talk to your HCP for more information on treatment decisions or how to adjust your dosing based on the arrows you see. As you wear your Dexcom G6 Pro over the next 10 days, you will learn more about your body and your diabetes than ever before. Accept what comes your way and learn from your Dexcom G6 Pro during this time. Remember not to overreact or take multiple insulin doses too close together. Sometimes it's best to watch and wait. 10 days later, your app lets you know when your sensor trial has ended and directions for removing the sensor will be shown in the app. When your session is over, simply peel the entire patch off like a bandage and place it in a bag to return to your healthcare professional. Return the Dexcom G6 Pro to your healthcare professional following the instructions on your handout. Please note you will have a 20-day window to get the transmitter back to your HCP. If you have any technical questions, call Dexcom Technical Support 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. For any medical issues or if your Dexcom G6 Pro gets loose or removed, contact your healthcare professional.